Can you change your tactician? Sure. All right, I changed my tactician. Let's go back to the gloop. Oh, actually, tell you what, tell you what. It's been a while. I'm down to I'm down to gloop change. Down to change to a new gloop. But I refuse to ever play anything other than a gloop. Hey, Annie. Come here, what color should I be? So right now I'm green, but there's this fire. Pink. Pikachu. Oh my god, it looks like Bob. All right, I'm down to look like Pikachu. Is the Dowsy dead to you now? I mean, it's not that it's dead to me, but I can't be named Gloop Gap and then use a Dowsy. That's so embarrassing. Like... Have you ever seen someone in um in League of Legends Summoner's Rift? Like their name is like Best Trinimir NA, and then they're not playing Trinimir. It's like what the f did? Oh, I missed. Wow. I thought I thought I got it. I saw my angle. I was like, oh yeah, it's going in, baby. Flush. And then it didn't go in. Wait, Nar? Interesting. Oh! Any mutants in chat? No mutants. Gain of Vex? Oh wait, no, but... I don't want Runic Shield. It's probably Electro Charge or Disintegrator. Hang on. Okay, wait. It's Electro Charge is really good right now because I have a two star poppy and I'm pretty tanky. I have all tank items. Uh, Disintegrator is probably better later on because it helps me balance out my sources of damage. I guess arguably this also helps me balance out my sources of damage. Okay, I'm gonna take Electro Charge. It wins streaks me early. Okay, and then I'm probably gonna slam a Sunfire. I think Banshee's Call is just not good early game. Give me Blitzcrank. Uh, Scrap, Bodyguard, Striker, Arcanist. Okay, here's a question. Do I want to play Morgana because she's the best unit here? Do I want to play Bodyguard? Okay, I'm not kidding. I think Bodyguard is actually the best because it scales with Electro Charge really well. I almost lost. What the hell? I almost lost that. Here's two socialite. Is that good though? Four mana per second. Is that better than bodyguard? I don't think it's better than bodyguard. Okay, uh, I don't know what this game's gonna be, but I have a lot of Yordles, so I'm playing it for now. And this guy is level 5. I am probably going to lose. Okay, wait, what if this is an Electro Charge diff? No cap. It actually could be. My Poppy's kind of living. Wait, it actually could be. Oh, she got her shield. Oh my god, it's actually an Electro Charge diff. This guy leveled to 5 and lost! The game's over for him. He's dead. Yeah, wait, Electro Charge is lit for early game win streaks. I recommend fucking off Lulu. You only played for your synergies, not because anyone likes you. I don't think anybody in the history of TFT has ever been like, oh my god, it's a Lulu. Oh, thank God I swapped. Wow, this poor Nar just went through hell. Oh, 
What do I want here? Wow, there's a three-way tie for 96 HP and I lost and I'm last pick. That sucks. I have a glove right now. Glove is infinitely flexible. We can take anything. I just want three gold. If I don't get three gold, I'm going to cry. I am not getting nope. three gold. Okay, the reason we take belt here is because my augment leans towards turning HP and durability into damage. Okay, now here's a question. Do I think I'm in a position where I can go full Yordles? Unironically, maybe. I have a lot. Yep. Yeah, unironically, I might be able to. I have pretty good health, I have a good Yodel start, and I'm uncontested. <laughs> Electric Charge should save me enough HP. The thing I hate about Yordles is a lot of it comes down to RNG on if you just hit or not. Like, with Talon, you can kind of position and maneuver your way around it, and when you roll for spikes is actually pretty interesting. For Yordles, I feel like it's just random. Or it's a lot more random than uh, Talon is. So we could get first, we could get last. It's mostly gonna be determined by if we just hit or not. I feel like every single round, I'm just gonna clump like this in the corner. There's not really any skill in the positioning. I think I'm down to go for it though, just cause the game's given me so many. I'm down to just like play the lottery here. We're gonna play a slot machine, huh? What? Oh. Okay, hopefully I win this and I can make a decon. Did you see the new free community mod they announced for Slay the Spire? No, I have not. Wait, my poppy's trapped! Oh, never mind. Alright, I'm definitely not winning this. Okay, let's decide now who's gonna be our carry. Is it gonna be Nar? Or Corky? Uh, the answer is whichever one I two star. Actually, no, that's not the answer. The answer is whichever one I get items for. Uh, if we get AD items, we will play Nar. If we get AP items, we'll play Corky. Ziggs? No, I don't think anyone- No one ever plays Ziggs carry. The fact that he misses, like, 60% of his bombs is so bad. Okay, I might play this Darius for one round to save a bit of HP. Okay, Warmog's actually not bad here. Uh, that's pretty bad. Ooh, Shadow Flyers. Shadow Fears, thank you for five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Wait a second. I just realized something really scary. I actually have my Yordles in like the wrong order. Oh my god. Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the gift, gift subs. Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the gift, gift subs. Thanks for the gift subs. Hey. Okay, I just realized I got all my Yordles in a very balanced fashion, which it's good and bad. It's good because I spiked earlier. I was like, oh yeah, why don't I just go six right now and play Vex? But the reason you don't go six right now and play Vex is because then my bench is going to fill up and I'm subject to Yordle lock. And if you hit Yordle lock, you just lose the game. Wow, my Corky just hella clutched that. Wait, I actually lose the game if I, okay, wait. Do I want to risk it? If I level up right now and play Vex, I am become very strong. I hit my my six Yordle spike. Uh, the problem is, ten bench slots are not enough to juggle all the Yordles. All right, I'm gonna do it. I feel like it's the correct move, but there is a very real chance. There's a very real chance that I am going to Yordle lock and I'm going to lose the game. The moment you experience even one Yordle lock, that being like your bench is full and you can't buy the Yordle in your shop, you basically lost the game already. You've lost too much progress at that point. Every time it happens, you lose like five gold. So what normally what you want to do is like, you want to roll at five until you hit like Poppy three, and then you kind of clear up a lot of bench space, and then you play for the other uh, three stars, and you can level up. Uh, the reason I'm leveling here is because I happen to have basically two star all Yordles. 
and I spike super hard. I save a lot of HP. Like, look how strong I am now. But it's definitely a very scary move. Imagine so small here. Oh, wait. Imagine meditation. Meditation is insane value here. Okay, I'm gonna roll a little bit. Nice. Meditation's ridiculous. It's like stupid, dummy, thick value here. All I have to do now is just put all of my items on the poppy and plus one. Uh, so decide on Nar or Corky, whichever one. So I need to not slam my items until I'm sure who I'm going to commit to. And we commit to two Yordles and then everyone else just gets meditation value. Okay, so yeah, I, I would describe this situation as Pog Monka W. I look at how everything is so cleanly two-starred. Isn't that beautiful? But then imagine how awkward my bench is going to get on my roll down. I'm going to have to like make some really hard decisions soon. I'm going to have to like decide which Yordles to cut, if you know what I mean. But for now, I should be experiencing like a free win streak. Like, people see me and they want to be me because I'm making so much money and I'm strong. Giga Chad. All right, um, I guess we don't really care what item I want. If anything, I want a poppy item. Okay, I'm sorry, Corky, I have to sell you. I ain't, I ain't playing a Corky with a cloak. A gargoyle right now makes me, makes my poppy so strong. She's gonna do like infinite electro charge damage. Okay, I sincerely hope I get all poppies and zigzags from my Yordle buff. I think they said something like an 80% chance. There's an 80% chance that you get a one cost Yordle. Something like that. So, we just pray for that 80% chance to trigger every single time. And then, if I if I three star one of them before my bench locks, I win. I'm pretty sure like once you three star one Yordle, you'll never bench lock. Oh, I guess you still can. It's just very unlikely. So by far the best thing ever is if we can just three star our uh, poppy and then just chill. I actually don't know what the numbers are. I think I'm pretty sure like if you want to know what the numbers are, you have to like look at more dogs Twitter. Hello, Capacin though. I can do this. Are you going to slow roll at 50 now? Yep. I just slow roll until I feel like I'm ready to hit and then I just roll all the way down. Uh, you don't go seven until you have, I would say, almost all the Yordles. You would only go seven once the Yordles you need are just Nars and Vexes. Because at that point you can play Blitzcrank for um, Scrap Bodyguard and you, your team gets insane value. Meditation Vex is pretty filthy. I mean, honestly, if I sold this Poppy and put items on Vex, she'd be even better. But I'm not selling just because I want to make sure I hit the three star. For frontline, the hierarchy is three-star poppy is better than uh, two-star vex, but then once you get the three-star vex, you kind of wish you could move the items over. So item remover is actually really OP, because if you hit an item remover, then you get the best of both worlds, like Hannah Montana. Dude, insane Yordle five streak. Uh-oh. I'm starting to monk a W. My bench is getting a little full. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh-oh. Okay, I have three spots. I need to get poppies and, and zigs. Poppies and zigs. Oh, item remover. It's lit. Oh, I got a poppy. All right, poppies and Z. P's and Z's. I'm probably gonna have to sell the split crank. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay. It's going to be pretty scary. Uh, we are one away from locking. Okay. So, I'll tell you what the best case scenario here is. If I get a poppy, it's going to go here, outside of my bench, and it's going to say I have one turn to resolve it. Otherwise, she's going to get sold. So, at that moment, I need to then hit a poppy and just pray I don't hit anything else. Because any, any other Yordle I hit is basically lost. Uh, or I could hit a Gnar. A Gnar would clear uh, my bench space a bit. 
Okay. Pray. This is the most important part turn of the game. Give me a poppy, maybe a corky. Oh, I hit a zigs. Fuck. Okay, I actually have to let the zigs go. I have to. Oh, thank God. Do not make my hammer mad. Oh. Oh, thank you. Okay, we only lost one zigs. Not the end of the world. I can come back from this. Okay, that poppy was super clutch. Also, we high rolled a magnetic remover, so I can do the thing I said earlier where we play three star poppy, and then once I get three star back, we move the items. Oh, hello, raining eclipse. Okay, something really important here is uh, the roll timing. I want to explain why we rolled here. Why did you roll down to 30 exactly and not 40 exactly or 50 exactly? Well, I wanted to roll down to 40, but then I had to buy a Lulu, which put me at to 39 gold. And then I was also close to Corky, so I figured I may as well roll and hit. Uh, rolling is very snowbally. Okay, I need one Corky. I'm gonna roll for Corky. Oh, hi Corky. Okay, and now we may as well roll down to 30. See if we hit anything on the way. Okay, now we may as well roll until we hit Lulu. Oh wow, no, I can't play that. No. Yep, that tasted purple. All right, roll downs are really snowbally. So it's like if you hit, you're really close, so you may as well just keep rolling to hit. Once you get one Lulu away from three star, it becomes your best move to roll down. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've, I've hit enough that this game's the first place. Wait, right. normally in this position, I should be a pretty weak and I'm like begging for some three stars, but we're actually like already very strong. This poppy is Giga Chad. Oh, do I win? Do I win? Okay, Vex got the shield off. What? Nah, it's fine. Oh, uh, what do I want here? We still don't know if we're playing Poppy or um, Corky or Nar carry. Okay, I'm still not gonna slam any items because I don't I don't like this combination of items, but we might hit something better later. Okay, so this is really important. At some point when you play Yordles, levels become more important than rolling. And this is that time. So I do this. I get my two synergies. And then watch what happens now. I'm at seven Ziggses, six Nars, six Vexes. What's gonna happen now? Basically every single round, we're gonna get a Ziggs for free until it gets three starred. And then we just roll for a couple Nars, couple Vexes. We naturally finish them off with the Yordle synergy. Then we start hitting Vagars. Why did you sell? Does anyone want to tell our friend why I sold the Corky with a rod on it? Anyone want to tell him? Should I? Should I be the one to tell him? Maybe we can let him figure it out on his own. Yeah, it might be my bad. Maybe I should prioritize the four-star Corky a little bit harder. Oh, makeshift armor is insane value here. Wait, oh no. Actually, I, I think I think, um, I think Featherwits is better. I didn't think about it hard enough. I should've thought about it more. I forgot I'm playing a comp that has uh, primarily one and two costs. Oh, I'm so sad. I, sh I definitely should've taken Featherweights. I, I was so, I had such a big heart on for the meditation makeshift armor value. Cause like, oh, it's so much value. But I forgot that I got literally, I just like high rolled one of the best augments in the game. I didn't take it. It's fine. Honestly, makeshift armor is not bad here. Makeshift armor is probably like a 9 out of 10 augment and featherweights was a 10 out of 10. Still winnable. Isn't your Yordle roll confirmed to be Ziggs? No, it's not guaranteed, but it's like 80% likely. Actually, it might be more than 80% because we can no longer get Nar, uh, we can no longer get Corky or Lulu. So I think it's like, it's like 90% Ziggs. I don't know the exact numbers, but I think it's like around 90% Ziggs at this point. Holy crap, I'm so tanky. Okay, so here, I'm gonna roll down to zero. Uh, because once you get to the three costs, it is actually very hard to hit the 
When you roll for Vex and Gnar, it is really hard to hit them when like 90% of them are out of the pool. Actually, I shouldn't say 90, it's more like 60% of them are out of the pool. Because you're going to have half the pool of Gnars and Vexes, and then some people have like threes, or uh, a sixth of the pool. So you want to roll for them early, and then you want to, at, at some point, you're at like eight Vexes, eight Poppies, I'm oh, sorry, eight Vexes, eight Gnars, and at that point you're like, okay, the odds of hitting are too unlikely, I'm going to go save up money for eight, so I can play the Vagar. I think it's a quirky game. All right, hang on, I gotta roll. Thin the pool. Every single Gnar or Vex I hit yep. saves me one turn here. Wow! Don't worry, I got this. What a perfect roll down. And then now in two turns, Wow! Okay, wait, wait. Uh, I gotta figure out my items. So, it's probably Gwinsu's. Oh, no, it could be Static Shiv. It, it's Static Shiv, QSS, and Jeweled Gauntlet. Wait, okay, so it's either that. So, QSS, Static Shiv, Jeweled Gauntlet, or... Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's the best option. Oh, I won. Why don't you save him for the Vagar? Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh, Vagar 1 is not better than... Well, that happened. Yeah, Vagar 1 is not better than, uh, Quirky 3. So I have two options here. I made uh, it in the last YouTube video, Pog. I was here, Pog. Pog. I actually have the health to do this. So originally I was gonna item over the Poppy and move it to Vex, but I actually could just leave it. I could just leave it on, and then I could itemize Quirky and then move it over. Yeah, I, th I think it's better. I think it's better. I just won't remove the items from Poppy. And then we can we can move the items once we hit a two star of a Vagar. I like this. So then we have a carry for three rounds. Dude, this is actually a crazy high roll game. I hit like all the perfect augments for Yordles. All right. This could actually be my 800 LP challenger Vagar 3 game. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Everything is lining up perfectly. Cause not only that, but there is a wind streaker. There is a wind streaker with 83 HP, which means I think I will actually live long enough if you high roll too hard, your opponents won't even live long enough to see the Vagar 3. But I think I actually could see it here. That's crazy. This could be my 800 LP challenger Vagar 3 game. Although, what if he's stronger than me? Let me, uh, let me backline everything. This guy's pretty strong. I think I actually lose this. I'm fine with losing. Like, we don't care about gold anymore. We save a little bit of gold so we can go eight. Oh wow, wait, I still win? Dude, it's... Meditation makeshift combo is just bro... Oh, I don't win. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Good loss. Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't want any of these. Oh, there's, there's one. There's one item I want. It's gone. Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't want any of these items. None of these items are better than... Yeah, none of, none of these items are better than Meditation Makeshift Armor. So I, I'm literally just gonna leave it on the bench. I, I would I would take a Shroud, because then I could just put on Blitzcrank. Okay, we don't play Vagar until he gets Vagar 2. Well, we don't play Vagar until 8, more like. Okay, I mean, we're basically locked into this positioning. Uh, the only decision is do I want to clump or not clump? I think the answer is I don't want to clump. When are you gonna item move Poppy? I've decided not to. I'm gonna item move Corky and give the items to Vagar. Two star Vagar is better than Corky three. Hello, patient zero OG. Thanks for the prime. Okay, at this point, I fully expect to lose because people are hitting their final spikes, which is totally fine. Kill one more unit. Nice.
Why is your gloop yellow? Uh, cause he looks like Pikachu. Oh wait! I just realized! Why am I putting Gnar as hook bait when I have a QSS? Let's just frontline everything. No one's playing assassins. Let's go, Corky. Save me that HP. Oh my, Vagar items! What? I don't even have to item remove. <laughs> the game's just like, yeah, have the, have the, you, you're leveling up to play Vagar next round? Here you go. Wait, now I can still item remove Poppy, which is great, because now I can drop the Sunfire Cape instead of um, the Bramble. Okay, wait, this is like a very small cadence, but I should actually roll before leveling. Because the, the last upgrade, ah, arguably the last upgrade to be level nine. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done. Let's just go, let's just save up money for level nine. Isn't Jeweled Gauntlet better than Shiv for Vagar? Yeah, but I think the value you gain from item removing this Poppy is higher. Okay, and then Blitzcrank, I'm really sorry about this, but you are put on Sunfire duty. You are literally just there to apply Sunfire to a couple people before you die. <laughs> what is my purpose? You apply Sunfire. Oh my god! Oh my god. That was crazy. Wait, this Vagar like casted twice before die? Oh my! He's four, five times stronger than Corky 3 with these items. Alright, I'm gonna sell this Blitzcrank and we're gonna go 9. Wow. I feel like I could walk away from my PC right now and we'll still win. Oh, Sacred Sunday. We might actually do it. We might actually do it. This is so crazy. Alright, there's like a really small nuance, but I'm hiding my Blitzcrank here. Basically, he's so squishy, I want him to just walk around without having a target to hit, so that he just applies Sunfire to some people. It's super small, but we may as well. Holy crap, this blue buff, Vagar. He's too strong. Have you tried Enchanter Yordles? I've seen it. Like, Senna, Senna, Nar, uh, Yordles. With a 3-star Vex. Okay, here's the question. Can my opponents live for 5 rounds? I really hope so. I want to see it. I want to see it. You know, I could, I could throw. I could throw to increase the odds of um, them living. I might. I might. Wow, this Vagar life is diabolical. Vex must have a lot of chests to fit all three of those chest plates. Oh yeah, oh my god, Shroud. Ah, please, sir. Darn it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do this now, but I don't think we want to play our strongest board. I, I kind of want my opponents to live. I want you guys to, okay. In fact, why don't I position a little bit poorly? Why don't I just do this so that my opponent gets the perfect shroud? Let me give you a free, like, massive shroud and some massive AoE damage on my whole team. So that we can make these fights a little bit closer. Do you want to switch your Vagars? I think I would lose if I did that. I want a close win. Wait, why did you Zephyr my Corky? Oh, 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 no. He, he's Zephyring the, the other guy. I'm facing a ghost right now. Wait, I actually almost lost. Wait, that was really good grief positioning. I almost threw. Wait, this guy guaranteed lives. Oh, he actually just hit Talon 3. This guy guaranteed lives. Uh, he's got 46 health. Wait, my brain is processing the fact that we're actually going to see it. We're actually going to see the Vagar 3. Okay, I'm going to just stand still. I'm going to let you Zephyr me. You can Zephyr me. Why did you Zephyr the Corky? Oh no, he probably thought I was going to play a mind game. Oh, he's so smart actually. He's up for the Corky, 
so that it would grab the Vagar. Good, 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 yes. You're smart, you're smart. I doubted you and I'm really sorry. This is good. That was a good close fight. Actually, if this hit, if this ult misses. Wow, wait, this Syndra is OP. Wait, she's gonna keep throwing me away and I'm not gonna hit him. <laughs> oh wait, I got outplayed. <laughs> wait, that was awesome. That was that was a sick Zephyr play. I can't believe we're gonna see it. Oh my god, we're actually gonna see it. Oh no, please let me see it. Oh, he said okay. He said okay, he's down. Yeah, how anticlimactic would it be if he forfeited? All right, major respect to him for letting me see it. Flush. Wow, wait, that was actually big brain Zephyr actually. That was way better than Zephyring my Vagar. Wait, he actually like one-shot my Vagar. I'm squishy. Oh wait, here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Wait, this guy is actually so strong that he can beat, uh, almost beat me. All right. Cue the music. I am evil, stop laughing. Hello, Vagar. Alright. Put Vex in the corner to get grabbed. Alright. 99 meteors for 777 damage. Oh my god! <laughs> it killed him in one go! Minus 29? He just casted... It was over so fast. Pog, I was here, Pog. Yeah, the ult didn't even finish. Huh? Uh, yeah. I won. Huh? Oh yeah, it's because I looked like a Pikachu, that's why I won. Oh, is it... Do I have to take a photo? Guys, do I want to take a, f a picture of... Wait, I'm actually really surprised you don't know what I would t choose here. Guys, do I want to take a picture of the fortune blend? Or Naruto? I like this one, but I wanted to give you the choice, you know? There was Naruto and a picture of money, and you think I would ever choose the money? I don't know what Uncharted is, maybe you'd like it. <laughs> Wait, I can't believe they have Naruto flavor. This is this, their second Naruto flavor. Wait, zoom in. Yeah, the other one was like called Sage. What is this one called? Oh, no, no, it is the same. It's just different labeling. Uh, if you guys didn't know what this is, this says uh, these three Japanese characters stand. It's in, um, it's formal Japanese for make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Uh, Twitch.tv slash boxbox. Uh, Twitter.com slash boxbox. And uh, also, I have a TikTok. That's the fourth character. I've been learning.